Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Nunes announces FBI evidence that will end the investigation on Trump. Why the Democrats chose to use Russia as the scapegoat for their 2016 election loss is completely baffling. After all, Russians and Democrats share the same economic ideals of socialism, and both use terms like workers' rights and equality as a smokescreen to confiscate people's wealth to give it to themselves. But since they still can't accept the fact that the American people did not want Hillary Clinton, they have to keep latching on to this narrative, in the hopes that they will eventually uncover something they can use to impeach President Trump. Still, this expensive and frivolous investigation begs an important question, how did the idea that Russia meddled in our election even begin? It's an important question, and one that too few have been asking. But one congressman has been looking into it, and his findings could stop the entire witch hunt in its tracks. From Fox Business House Intelligence Committee Chairman Devin Nunes said Sunday his review of FBI and Justice Department electronic communication documents shows no intelligence was used to begin the investigation into possible collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia during the 2016 election. We now know that there was no official intelligence that was used to start this investigation. We know that Sidney Blumenthal and others were pushing information into the State Department. So we're trying to piece all that together and that's why we continue to look at the State Department. Nunes told Maria Bartiromo on Sunday Morning Futures. Nunes is now turning the tables on the left and is investigating the State Department for their major irregularities regarding how information wound up in the hands of the FBI. He believes Blumenthal and other Clinton loyalists were behind it all, and continue to steer the investigation. Due to this mounting pile of evidence proving Trump is innocent, the president can and should fire Mueller and his whole team without worry from Congress. The real question is, when is Attorney General Jeff Sessions going to indict Hillary and those around her for their crimes? Rep. DeSantis recently sent a letter to Sessions co-signed by ten colleagues calling for an investigation into several Obama-era officials for potential violations of federal statutes. Former FBI Director James Comey, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, former Attorney General Loretta Lynch, former Acting Director of the FBI Andrew McCabe. FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI counsel Lisa Page, are among the names on the list of people who are accused of abusing our legal system for political purposes. The sooner the fake Trump-Russia collusion story ends, the sooner the real investigations can begin. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.